Hey everybody, Mark and Lisa here. Welcome, Welcome to, to the cottage. cottage. That's correct, yes. As soon as we'd see this green building, we'd always say, we're finally here. This place has been in the family for 60 years now. There's a lot of memories attached to every part of this place. My grandfather always felt that no cottage is complete without a matching birdhouse. As you can see, all original. The DIY gene definitely runs strong in the family. Ooh, hello there. <laughs> what are you doing? I am looking for work just gloves. Just yucking? I'm just yucking for the work gloves. Hmm. I know there's a giant pile of them in here somewhere, but... Uh... It's a treasure hunt. Stick. They're... They just weren't hungry. Poor oh, ship they're, not, they're not out there. They're not going by. Mama Jay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Where'd them Duke boys go? Oh! Just getting some water for everybody. <laughs> Just kidding. This is the original water pump. Kind of cool, eh? I don't love it in here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm in fear of seeing a mouse i would probably cry and run for help Whew. okay i made it out alive mostly i just gotta look around Whew. okay we're good oh i made it oh man that was scary that was so scary i got this The trail all the way back 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 and I am going for a four-wheel drive in a little while try to take you with me but I don't know if that's gonna happen or not <laughs> So of course I wanted to get these pumpkins. I needed to carve a pumpkin this year. We didn't carve one last year and I kind of missed it. The kids are old enough now that they kind of don't really want to do it anymore. Hopefully they'll come back to that one day. Ooh. I'm not looking. <laughs> I don't know how you'd be able to chisel out all that stuff so nice and neatly. Well, thank you. And that was our DIY for this episode.
<laughs> so I'm just playing around with my camera here and I kind of feel like I'm invading this plant's privacy. Oh my goodness, you can totally see the little hairs on it. <laughs> Sorry plant, nothing to see here. People, nothing to see. Guys, these mushrooms, they're huge. They're the size of my hand. That is a big mushroom, portobello-like. Are they edible? Does anybody know? Comment in the section below if you think you know what kind they are or if they're edible. I feel like they could be a meal and a half if they were. How cute are these pumpkins? The guys did such a good job. Just doing a little pumpkin seeds. Little pumpkin seeds. Whoa, nobody saw that. Inside your sprinkle on there. Better be mad. <laughs> like salt, really. But it's more natural. Nice. Oh. Holy, this stove is clean. That's impressive. It's warming you up there. That's, a, that's good. Feels that's nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oops. <laughs> Hello. So this little hidey hole creeped me out. I zoomed right in and it looked like I could see little eyeballs. Ooh. <laughs> I get like a cottage smell. The, 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 the true smell of the cottage. Yep. All right, we're gonna take a look back here and see what happened. Oh, yeah. If they were walking with the vegetables for the, for the. Oh, I think I see something. Oh, they would have been hit. <gasps> Look at the uh, look at where it broke off from. So let me explain. We heard a huge thump last night. It was fairly late, so we didn't want to go out to investigate. But this is what we found. Mark's mom, Mama J, will tell the entire story of vegetables that were going in the garbage, but and and dump them in the garbage can. And I said, no, no, we don't do that. We take them outside and dump them in the bin to rot. Because she says, you know, okay, next time we'll do that. But if she didn't do that, somebody, one of us would have come out, you or Mark, in the dark, I into, the, into the bin, and it went right across the path, right where somebody would have been walking, to empty the vegetables in the, in the, in the bin. Right You're the hero we didn't know we needed.
having you guys watching this is kind of like having you up there with us. It's a, just a great place to go to, just to get away. And let me tell you the fact that there is virtually no cell or Wi-Fi reception up there makes it even better. What I'll do is I'll uh, set the plan. Set the plan. Set the plan. No, I don't think so. when he was looking for the corner uh, stake for the property line, came across this old tool that was buried in the ground. Uh, it had a great deal of, uh, of tar on it, roof tar. But after cleaning it off, he remembered that this was a chisel that his father, my grandfather, used to uh, used to have. And it was old at the time, way, way back when he was just a little kid. And he remembered him him chucking it into the, into the bush. He just came across it, cleaned it off. The metal is still in amazing condition. So he gave it to me to take home and fix up. 